From Paramount Studios in Hollywood, it's television's most exciting game, Wipeout! And here to pit their knowledge and strategy against the Wipeout are Mark Murphy, Fran Severini, and David Odom. And the one who bears the best could drive off in this century wagon. And now here's your host, the star of Wipeout, Peter Tamarkin. Hi, thank you, Jim Hackett. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Wipeout, including all you folks at home. Hope you have a good time with us today. I know our contestants will because one of them is going to get the chance to drive off in a brand new car. Let's get to meet them, shall we? We have Mark. How are you, Mark? Real well. How about yourself? Pretty fine, thank you. Good. Mark, uh, you says here that you are a pro-am bike rider. Yeah, I uh, was racing on a pro-am basis for about the last 10 out of 12 years, right. mainly in the Midwest, had a real good time at it, didn't make quite as much money at it as what I wanted, I but had a good time. So now you're here to drive a car. Uh, yeah. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. Okay. And we have Fran. How are you, Fran? Hi, Peter. Uh, Fran, you are a hairstylist. Yes, I am. From out of town? From New Jersey. You came all the way from New Jersey? I sure did. Uh, is our weather a little nicer than New Jersey's has been? Oh, yeah, much nicer. Yeah, well, it was good oh, to have yeah. you with us. Thank you. Good luck. And David, how are you, David? Okay, how are you? Good to have you with us. Where are you from? Uh, Indianapolis, Indiana, originally, but I go to school in Washington, D.C. Uh, what school? Howard University. I Bison. <laughs> go Bison. What's your major? Uh, political science. Well, let's see how you do today. You ready? Yeah, I certainly am. All right, gang, let's play a game. Here's how we do it. Up on our magic board, you will see 11 answers uh, that will be correct. There will be 16 total. There will be five that will be incorrect. Your job, find the 11 correct answers, with the first one being worth $25, then $50, third one's worth $75, and so on until the last question is worth $275. A wrong answer? Well, that's a wipeout. Lose your money and your turn. You don't want that to happen because only two of you will make it to the challenge round. That third place player will not. So best of luck and stay out of third place. The good news is Hotspot, a prize behind one of the Correct answers on the board. Jim, what is on that hot spot today? Well, Peter, the hot spot winner will visit a scenic spot, beautiful Monterey, California. And the Monterey Plaza, a grand hotel in the bay located on famous Cannery Row. Enjoy accommodations and two tickets to the Monterey Bay Aquarium. The retail value of this trip, Peter, is over $1,200. Nice hot spot for the day. Mark, you drew first position, so you get first crack at the board. You can pass if you so desire, but you must make at least one selection before you pass. And we're going to play until all the right or all the wrong answers have been exposed. Okay? Let's take a look at the board. Many presidential campaigns and administrations have had slogans. Let's see if you can identify the 11 real ones from the other ones. Mark, there are 11 correct up there. Give me one. Ah, uh, easy to start off with anyway. Tippy Canoe and Tyler 2. Tippy Canoe and Dyer 2. Dyer 2? That's what it says, and it's a wipeout. I'm sorry. It was, uh, the real one was Tippy Canoe and Tyler 2. All right, go to Fran, and Fran, it's 11. Well, they I are hope 11 this correct. one's right, but I think it's Fair Deal. Fair Deal. Let's see if you're right. Yeah, Harry Truman. I don't know, you look old enough to remember Harry. $25, Fran. You can keep going or you can pass. I think I'll No, I think I'll pass. Gonna pass. David, do you? Ten correct answers left out of fourteen. Give me a correct one. It's uh, okay. worth fifty dollars. All right, I've told the whole world I'm a political science major. You did. And now I miss one and everyone laughs. So uh... <laughs> you haven't missed it yet. <laughs> okay. I have to have an answer. I'm gonna though. have to say fair and free. Fair and free. Let's find out. Oh, sorry. Not correct. We go to Mark, and Mark, there are 10 correct answers left out of 13. Uh, it's worth $50 if you're right. Let's see if I can redeem myself. Right. How about square deal? Square deal. Let's find out. Sounds like a square deal to me. Teddy Roosevelt. That gives you $50. First place. Nine correct answers out of 12. Mark. Play. Gotta go again. 54, 40, or fight? 54, 40, or fight. Yes, Mr. Polk. You got that one correct. That's 125. And there are eight correct answers out of 11. Only three wipeouts left up there. This next correct answer is worth $100, Mark. Let's go one more time. All right, uh, give me an new answer. New Frontier. New Frontier. Let's find out about the New Frontier. Yes, Mr. JFK. New Frontier. You're up to 225. First place by 207 correct answers left out of 10. One more time. One more time. Give me an answer. New society. New society. Let's see about that. Oh, no 
such thing. That's a loft of 225, and we go to Fran. There are only two uh, wipeouts left up there, Fran. Seven correct answers. You have $25. I'm going to go with world peace. World peace. I'm for it, whether it was a slogan or not. No, it wasn't the slogan, however. You lost the $25. David, actually, you're in pretty good shape. Yeah. Seven correct answers out of eight. There's only one up there that's a, a wipeout. It's worth $125 if you're right. Okay, how about dollar diplomacy? Dollar diplomacy. Let's find out if you're right. Mr. Taft. All right, you have $125. You want to keep going or pass? Six correct answers left out of seven. No, I'm, I'm going to play. Play on. All right, David, play. six correct out of seven. How about uh, return to normalcy? Return to normalcy. Let's check that one out. Warren Harding. All right, David, you're redeeming yourself. You're up to $275. Five correct answers out of six. Mark and Fran don't have any money. You have $275. I think I'm going to play. All right. Okay, I think I'm going to go with Era of Wonderful Nonsense. Era of Wonderful Nonsense. Let's see if that's a real slow. Oh, it not only is. Calvin Coolidge. No nonsense as far as you're concerned, David. There's your trip to Monterey, a hot spot. The trick is to hold on to it, because should you wipe out at any time during this round, that hot spot goes back up behind the correct answer on the board. And in order to keep it, you have to be one of the two players to move on to the challenge round. David, you have $450 and four correct answers out of five. Player pass. I think I'm going to pass. Pass. All right, here we go, Mark. There are four out of five. Pick one. Era of good feeling. Era of good feeling. Let's find out if that is what. Yes, Mr. Monroe. All right, Mark, $200, second place. Next correct answer is worth $225. There are three out of four up there that are correct. Play or pass? Play. Okay. New, fr new freedom. New freedom. Let's find out about the new freedom. Yes, Wilson, new freedom. Moves you up to 425, 25 less than David, solid second place. Two correct answers left out of three. The next one's worth 250 if it's right. Or you can pass. Yeah. Gotta go again. All right. Great Society. The Great Society. Let's check that one out. Yes, it is. LBJ, The Great Society. Now you're in first place with 675. There's one correct answer, one wipeout. The correct answer is worth 275. You're in first place. Pass. Pass to Fran. All right, Fran, here's the situation. You airs one wipeout and one correct answer. It's worth $275 if you're right. And um, you would be in third place with it or without it. You take the shot. Here we go. The great nation. The great nation. Let's find out. Oh, a wipeout. I'm sorry. And that means that Mark and David, you are going on to the challenge round. Congratulations. Well done, friend. Played a hard game, played it well. We've got some nice prizes for you. I thank you for being with us. Mark and David will see you in that challenge round. We come back after these words. Folks, don't go away. We'll be right back. Now, here's more excitement on Wipeout and Peter to Mark in. I uh, thank you. We are back with our two winners, Mark and David. You guys have amassed a small fortune, 675 Mark and David, uh, 450 plus the hotspot, and we're gonna put all of that away in a nice, safe place for you. That's Big Jim's vault, in case you didn't know. In fact, Big Jim himself is going to tell you what you're playing for in this round. Right, Jim? That's right, Peter. The second round winner will have a first-rate time in Mexico at the Jack Tar Village Resorts. All-inclusive Nuevo Vallarta. Meals, drinks, water sports, and more. A carefree escape from Jack Tar Village Resorts. We'll fly you and a companion from Los Angeles to Nuevo Vallarta aboard Delta Airlines' award-winning service. You'll also experience the exclusive Crown Room Lounge in the new Oasis Terminal, all from Delta Airlines. The retail value of this trip, Peter, is over $1,900. Sounds like a great trip. Nuevo Vallarta. The board you're about to look at will have 12 answers on it. Eight will be correct, four will be wipeouts, all right? In this game, we're going to pit the two of you against one another. And the way it works is I'll go to, to Mark first, since he won the most cash in round one. I'll ask Mark how many he can get right on the board without wiping out. And then I'll go to David and see if David wants to increase the bid. And we'll go back and forth until the bid either gets to eight or one of you calls the other. Well, once that player is called, he must give me all the answers he's bid correctly. If he doesn't, the other player gets to jump in. One correct answer wins the board on that basis. All right, gentlemen. Are you ready? Yeah. ready? Let's take a look at our board. <laughs> now it's time for that grand old game, golf. Which of these terms is a golfing term, gentlemen? Uh, first is Mark. You are up first. Tell me how many can you get right without wiping out. Mark, there are eight correct. I can get five. Five. Over to David. You going to go higher, David, or call him on his five? 
What do you think? I'm, I'm going to call him on that five. You're going to call him on the five. You're not playing around. Mark, we'll find out how, uh, how much you know about golf. All five in a row. If you miss one, David gets to jump in. Be very careful. Let's have him, Mark. Okay. We'll start out with bogey. Bogey. Let's find out. Yeah, evidently you must have had a couple. All right, that's one. That's four to go. Okay, uh, next one, let's go with four. 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 Yeah. Four. That's two down. Three to go, Mark. Putts. Putts. <laughs> yep, you got that one. Two to go, Mark. Well, one thing I did a lot of, hook. Hook, let's find that's, out about hook. That's Wide to the left. All right, Mark. One more, you win the first board. Real important. Hook's why I don't play golf anymore. I understand. All right. Got to go with bunker. Bunker. Let's find out. Yeah, bunker's the old sand trap. A golfer. Mark, you did it. You got the first game. Congratulations. Let's look at the other correct answers. Ye old dog leg. Probably had a few of those in your time. And the baffy, which is a four wood, a niblick. Everyone knows what a niblick is. It's a nine iron. All right. That's one for Mark. And David, when we come back, you have to win both in a row. And Mark, you need one more and you'll win the challenge round. We're coming back for the exciting conclusion of the challenge round after these words. Stay with us. Now, once again, here's Wipeout and Peter to Mark in. All right, we're back with uh, the score. Mark won, David nothing. Mark ran that board, and David, you're up this time, so let's take a look at the new board. Okay. Let's see if you remember the names of the characters in the old Our Gang comedies. Eight are correct. David, you're up. How many can you get right without wiping out? I can get... Five. Five. All right, we'll go over to Mark. You want to increase the bid, Mark? Or call him on the five? I'll increase it. Six. Six. Back to you, David. Want to go higher or do you want to call Mark on the six? I'm going to challenge. Challenge. All right. Mark, once again, it's in your hand. You got to give me all six in a row. If you miss, David gets to jump in. Let's get all six. Here six. we go, Mark. Buckwheat. Buckwheat. Let's find out. That's one. Five to go. Spanky? Spanky, he asked. Let's find out about Spanky. That's two. Four to go. Alfalfa. Alfalfa. Got to be alfalfa. Yeah, with the hair sticking up. That's right. Three to go, three. Mark. Three more. Halfway three more, there. Three more. Uh, Huitina. Huitina. Let's find out about Huitina. Yeah. Oh. That's a cereal, Mark, but it's okay. Yeah. David, to you, a reprieve, my friend. And you get me just one correct answer out of the five that are left up there, and you'll tie it. And I remember this one, the guy that needed lard on his throat, Weezer. Weezer. Let's see about <laughs> Weezer. Yeah, you know about Weezer, and you got it. Congratulations. We got a tie, one to one. Let's look at the, uh, let's look at the other correct answers. Pineapple we have up there. Sunshine Sammy. Tuffy. And Porky. Those are the other correct answers. Gentlemen, we have a tie, one to one. That means we need another game to decide who's going to go on to the bonus. Mark, you're up. Let's look at the other game. Okay. Looks like code. Remember the numbers racket? Well, here's a new numbers game. We want the Roman numerals that are matched correctly with their Arabic equivalent. Roman numerals matched correctly with their Arabic equivalent. Mark, you're up. How many can you get right without wiping out? The tie game. Six. Six, all right. David, back to you. Want to go higher than six or call Mark on the six? I'm going to challenge him on the six. Six, all right. Mark, once again, you've had control all day. Let's see if you can get six in a row. Here we go. Okay. X10? X10. Up there in the top. That's one. Five to go, Mark. V5? V5. That's two down. Four to go. Uh, VII and seven. VII and seven. Right, okay. Three to go. Mark? Okay. Uh, M and 1000. M1000. Let's check it out up there. Yes. Two to go. CC and 200. CC 200. Yes, all right, Mark. There's one left. 
There's three correct up there. All you do is give me the one, one out of those three that's correct, and you will win the round, and you will move on to the bonus. You'll get that trip to Nuevo Vallarta. Are you ready, Mark? Yes, I give am. Give it to I'm me. I'm ready to go. XIX and 19. XIX 19, is it right? Yes, it is. All right. Well done, Mark. Congratulations. You got the two. And you've done it. You're going on to the bonus round. Let's take a look at the other correct answers. D500. We had XC90, and those are the correct answers. Congratulations. Now, David, you're leaving us with, oh, I'd say about $1,666 worth of goodies, hot spot and prizes. Thanks for being with us. Thanks a lot. Mark, come on over here, Mark. You're going on to the bonus round with a car. Congratulations. We'll be back after these words, folks. Stay with us. Let's go. Now, once again, here's Wipeout and Peter Tomarkin. And we are back with Mark. You have uh, already amassed yourself with some goodies, about $2,600 worth of uh, cash and prizes. Sound pretty good? Great. It's a mere pittance compared to what we have in store for you. Take a look at this. Peter, here's the new Buick Century Wagon. Featuring front-wheel drive and a large carrying capacity makes this wagon a practical, elegant way to travel the great American road. From Buick. That looks great. Looks great. It looks you great. want the keys, you want out of here, yeah, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Can you give me 60 seconds? Do I have to? Yeah. Okay, As a matter of well, fact, right. you haven't got much to worry about. It won't be that difficult. It's not going to be very painful. What we're going to do is that we're going to uh, give you a question, and then we're going to put, actually, we're going to give you 12 answers on that board. And then we're going to give you a question. And then there were going to be six answers on the board that are right. You find the six answers, you get in the car, you're history. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> you like that part. Sounds good. All right. Uh, I will even show you how we do it. It's a category. My category, for instance, would be English rulers, royalty. Here are, come my 12 answers. I got to find six that, that are correct. Okay. In order to do that, I go up to the board and find the six are correct, choose them by hitting what's around the screen, finding six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then I come back over here as fast as I can. I'm getting old. I hit this and I've got two correct. Well, it's not six, I want six, so I'm gonna make changes. That means I go back to the board and make changes in any or all of those decisions that I'm not sure of. But in order to do that, I must turn something off before I can make a new selection. So if I don't think Andrew's right, I'll turn him off and I'll go to Elizabeth. If I think Duke Wayne is wrong, I would turn that off and go to one I think is right, Philip. And if I thought Henry was wrong and I thought Prince was right, I'd have to turn Henry off first before I went to, the, went to Prince. Oh, you understand? Yes. Then I'd come back very quickly, hit this one more time, and find out that I didn't do anything worth anything. <laughs> no improvement at all on my part. And I'd keep doing this till we had, you know, maybe an hour and a half pass. And then I would get it right and I'd be in the car and I'd be gone. I'd be history, and then you'd be standing here by yourself, which would not please you to any extent. I'd be, I, I'm tireless, though. <laughs> you'd wait. Right? All right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to give you your own category, okay. and we're going to give you 60 seconds within which to do it, as I said, said before. And are you ready? Yes. All right. Let's take a look at your answers. And many of the languages we speak are considered to be Germanic. Which six of these are Germanic in their origin? You have 60 seconds. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's four right, 48 seconds left. Okay. Uh, all right. That's uh, three right, 40 seconds. That's five, six, 33 seconds. That's 27 seconds. You now have four right. You're back up. 24 seconds. You gotta turn one off. That's it. 16 seconds. Three. 12 seconds. 11. 10. Don't forget to turn something off. That's it. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Three. You got three hours. <laughs> you went back and forth. You did pretty well. Let's see how I do, and I know the answers. Let's see. Let me see if I can do this for you. I probably can't. We'll get rid of this, and we'll get rid of this. We'll put this on, and we'll get rid of this one, and we'll put this one on, and this one. Hey, how about it? What a guy. 
That's great when you know the answers, right? That makes it easier. Mark, thanks for being with us. We'll be right back after these words. You did a yeoman's job. You're leaving us with over $2,600 worth of uh, goodies. I thank you for being with us. It's been a real pleasure. Thank you. Until next time, this is Peter Tamarkin saying bye-bye. Thank you. Some member of our studio audience may receive a recliner rocker chair from Lazy Boy Chair Company. Enjoy genuine quality and comfort as you rock or recline. Relax. It's a Lazy Boy. Some of our Departy contestants will receive Q-tips. There's no softer, safer swab for your family, because a swab by any other name just isn't the same. And a generous supply of Kentucky Fried Chicken. It's tender and juicy, bite after bite. At Kentucky Fried Chicken, we do chicken right. And the next generation in salon-style nail lengthening. Gel Formula Lee Sculptured Nails. Fresh on like polish. Gel Formula Lee Sculptured Nails.